Now let's have a look at question number 6. The table shows the time t mi in minutes that 400 people take to complete a test. Now we are given the range of time taken from 0 to 10 minutes, from 10 to 24 minutes and we are given the frequency. What is the frequency? What does it mean? Frequency means how many. Okay? How many? And in this case, how many people? Okay. Now, you have to understand what is going on in the table to answer the following questions. Okay? So, 10 people took time 0 to 10 minutes to complete the test. 90 people took 10 to 24 minutes to complete the test. Okay? And so on. Part A, write down the model time interval. What model means most common time interval okay most common what was the most common time interval it was 135 why because 135 people um, they uh, they because 135 people took time between 24 to 30 minutes this was the most common time so it was 24 to 30 minutes okay part B calculate the estimate of the mean time taken to complete the test mean means average time okay average time what was what is whenever you are given the formula uh, sorry wh whenever you are given the frequency table the formula for frequency tables mean is sum of frequency times X x is the second value other than the frequency over sum of frequencies sum of frequencies we are already given which is 400 okay so sum of frequency into x now frequency is easy to spot it is 10 times um, should we take 0 should we take 10 no we should take the midpoint of 0 and 10 and which is 5 okay and we should add all the values because we want the sum now if you do not know how to calculate the midpoint it is you take the two points you add them in this case I'm doing for this one and then you divide them by 2 okay and you will get 17 okay now frequency is 90 times the midpoint 17 and then the third one is frequency is 135 times the midpoint which is 27 and then the frequency is 85 and then the time interval is 35 midpoint and then it's 70 50 and then the last one is 10 65 okay and when you add them all you will get 1 2 3 5 0 and you have to divide them all by the sum of frequencies which is 400 and then you will get 30.875 and we want all uh, our answers to three significant figures which is 30.9 okay part B complete the table of cumulative frequencies cumulative means added up added up okay and as you can see till 24 now there is no range given on this side means less than 24 whatever the total time whatever the total number of students okay so f till 24 they have added this one and got 100 okay so and then less than 30 we will take all these values and then less than 40 we will take all these values okay so we will just keep on adding the next value for our new answer okay so for this one it will be 100 plus 135 which is 235 okay 235 and then for the next one 235 plus 85 235 plus 85 it's 320 320 and then plus 70 more it will be 390 and then the last one they have already done which is 400 now on the grid 
opposite draw a cumulative frequency diagram to show this information now you can first try on your own I have uh, plotted four points and I will be just to save some time I have already plotted two more uh, I haven't plotted the first two just to show you how it's how, how you can do it okay now the first one when the time is 10 or less than that the total number of students were 10 okay at 10 it's 10 so at time 10 the total number of students were 10 so this is 10 20 30 40 50 now though so one is not 10 okay it has to be this should be 5 this should be 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 and 50 okay so this is my 10 here and this is my 10 here and make sure you draw a circle around it either like that or either you draw a cross okay you do you should do one of them okay now the next point is t should be less than 24 or equal to and the frequency should be 100 so at 24 21 22 23 24 5 6 7 okay we are going right so 21 22 23 24 it should be 100 this is my 100 and then the next point I have already drawn the rest okay so for example at 30 to 35 this is this is my 30 here and my 235 point is, is here okay so just let's move on now and complete the um, drawing okay let's as complete the drawing it should be a smooth curve on the paper I'm drawing on the tablet so it's not as smooth okay okay um, part C use your graph to estimate the median time the median means the middle and the middle is at 50% okay and we all know that middle is at 50% of the frequency okay let me just make the graph a bit more smoother okay so let me just get rid of that should be more smooth okay and uh, is the other point missing yeah let me just okay now the median median is the 58 percent of the frequency okay so frequency was 400 and the middle wall the middle will be 200 so we will draw a line at 200 okay let me just take a darker one 200 okay and then we go all the way down okay and then we go all the way down and you have to draw this in the exam you have to draw this in the exam with pencil obviously and it's 28 for me as per my graph it's 28 and the interquartile range means the 75 percent minus the 25 percent so we have to calculate two values first we'll calculate the 75 values which is 75 over 100 times 400 okay which is 300 okay so if we'll start at 300 here somewhere here and then we go all the way down like that ok 
okay and this will be around 36 okay this is my 36 30 obviously it's the 75 minus the 25 or 25 will be 25 over 100 times 400 which will be 100 yeah it's 100 so at 100 at 100 I already had my point actually yeah which was which was supposed to be 24 oops sorry it's this one yeah this one okay so this one is 24 so 36 minus 24 is 12 the 50th 50th percentile the 15th percentile sorry it will be 15 percent into 400 okay which will be s which will be what 60 yeah 60 and for 60 now 60 will be here and this is 19 last part the number of people who took more than 50 minutes the number of people who took more than 50 minutes now this time we have to start from time and look at the frequency so the 50th minute is here the 50th minute is here here it's about at 360 so the number of students who took more than that were 40 okay so we'll our answer is 40 here remember there are range of values so if even if your grad graph is not as accurate you will still have some range of values and uh, for example here even if you had somewhere 45 so then you you will still have the two marks okay so there are range of values do not worry about the accuracy about your graph yes it has to be accurate but do not spend a lot of time on the graph okay you have to just get on with it